they don't have that much businesses, but they're still paying the high, high amount of taxes. And uh, besides, when they just wait like five minutes after a fight, they get like big ticket from the city. So mm -hmm. they were really, uh, they were really uh, not happy about that, you know. So are you planning to extend that time? So this is actually, they, they asked me if, if you get elected, please, please do something for us because, but this one, uh, of course, we're going to have to work on this. We're going to have to check what we can do. That's and right. uh, especially like for the business people, uh, there was a debate here, there was a debate here in, uh, in last Saturday. So, you know, I, I was saying there that, uh, you know, if you want to do some more jobs, if you want to create more jobs for, for park extension, then you have to, you have to help the businessmen there local. Because if you, if you cut up the street in front of their house, uh, uh, of, the, of their uh, stores, mm -hmm. so there's a big problem for them because they cannot do the business as they expected. And the problem is uh, when they can't do the business, so they can't hire more people. So the you know the the, the like jobless they have, to have the income. They have to have the income. They have some That's people, right. you know. Yeah. And so if they have they, they can't have the people, so the our our youth people, so they they don't get any job in there. You know the job market is going to be slow automatic. You know, so yeah. this is the most important thing to help the businessmen, the local businessmen, to do their jobs. They're struggling, yes. Yeah. But uh, how <coughs> you will be helping them? You this is in your plan, like you you, you do have a list of uh, to do things and this is one of them to help them like giving more time to do their business or development in front of their business uh, property or in front of the store that's going to be the priority to fix fast or or well the, uh, you know jantalon uh, yes. and uh, not jerry but jantalon is yeah. like is busy area you know for yeah, the busy yeah. it's like this is our downtown you can say exactly so you know if we if we keep if we keep the construction in front of a store like one month two months three months yeah. and doing nothing and just wait for someone to say and then fix it no it is not good i mean this go by the priority it yeah, will go by of the course it has to be it, it has to be you know because otherwise uh, otherwise the people will lose their job lose their businesses but it's not like that they're, they're paying low taxes or less taxes. That's they're right. paying the same taxes as uh, every time. Absolutely. You yeah. know, so I, I, I gave them my number. Yeah. And uh, I told them, you know, it doesn't so that matter. That was my question, I, how they're going yeah. to communicate. <coughs> yeah, I, I, told, I, I gave them my number and I tell them, you know, even 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 doesn't matter if I get elected or not. But the thing is, I'm going to keep working with you. Keep working with you to, to fix this problem for you. If because this is because I saw the problems of them. I mean, I saw I saw the the problems they're facing right now. So I wanted to help them you uh, feel in my them. way or a different way, whatever you know. I just wanted. I feel their problems. So I just had to uh, because uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have to uh, sit with them and do something like uh, do something what uh, they really want. Okay, uh, Mr. Sif, I'll be right back there. We have to take a short break, viewers. We're gonna take a short break now. Uh, we'll be right back. Uh, don't worry. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Nagarik TV's um, My City, My Vote. And uh, today we have our special guest, uh, Mr. Yusuf, and we're going to continue the conversation where we stopped right now. But viewers, don't forget to write your comments and questions. If you have any, write on the comment box, or you can call the studio at 1-844-624-6745. So now we're going to go to uh, Mr. Yusuf. So yes. So we were talking about uh, the business professionals that they are, they, they, are, they are penalized because of the construction is going on in front of their business property and um, they are not doing properly their business and time is short, short, short. So we were there and you say to them that you are going to help them. This is in your list. You get elected or not. This is one of your priorities, yeah, which is right. excellent. So and uh, on that note and uh, uh, Campaign. <coughs> Let's talk about your campaign. It's almost over. So, so <coughs> far, how did it go? Well, you know, uh, I get, uh, I've got very short time to campaign because uh, I just got like three weeks or maybe maximum one month to do it. 
because uh, me myself I didn't know that I'm gonna run the election really and uh, mm. uh, because uh, the moment I, 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 I get the offer and I, I, I thought about my country and I thought about my route that I have to follow my route and I have to bring my route uh, in mainstream and this is this is the only thing that we can uh, we can do for our next generation to come and uh, <coughs> campaign is good I'm, I'm still going door to door and uh, is uh, well it's not easy to go like 30,000 or 40,000 houses that's true that's true yeah but i uh, still i'm going and i'm going to keep going before the election we have the timeline that we can do the campaigning that's right. so even though we got some uh, for my posters get vandalized vandalized and uh, my yeah. posters cut off two three places uh, well i don't know why it was but uh, but you know i was like it, it boosted me you know so it was so that makes me like, okay, they feel something that uh, this guy is uh, really important. Doing That's something. why we have to do something. So, okay, yes. that was, uh, it was like well by me. And it was really good for me. Then uh, it was a boosted. And, and w the, uh, you know, after that happens, uh, there's like different uh, mainstream medias. There was like press conference, uh, CTV, CBC, Global, uh, CFCF. So they were asking me by phone, the gadget, they are like big report, big uh, coverage. So they called me and they asked me, uh, they asked me, uh, Okay, Mr. Yusuf, you are from Coalition Montreal. We heard you have a problem with the vandal vandalism. So after that, they asked me, okay, what is your origin? Just to ask in the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, where are you from? Yes. <coughs> so when they asked me from the mainstream media, so I did proud to say that I'm from Bangladesh origin, and uh, I really feel good about that. And uh, for me, that was my main achievement. Uh, it's, it's bigger than winning the election. That was my main achievement. I, I was really happy that I represent Bangladesh. And I'm the Bangladeshi, Bangladeshi Canadian uh, who is representing in the mainstream. And for me, I'm really proud of that, that I'm from Bangladesh. Uh, so <coughs> we are proud Sorry. of you that uh, you are speaking for us, you're going to speak for us if you get selected. Yes, of course, you're going you're gonna to be doing for the community, for the society, and of course, especially for Bangladesh. And on that note, as you said that, yes, so many things happen uh, or with, your, uh, with your posters, uh, people cut it, and I saw it in Facebook as, as well. Yeah, we saw them. And now, uh, where does your confidence sta label uh, stand on a scale from 1 to 10 <coughs> when you see these things? Well, I got 11, <laughs> to be exact. <laughs> because 11, because uh, I got some, you can say like a team, I got some, some, my, some of my friends who are just behind me and uh, they're working for me. Uh, they're uh, they distributing the leaflets for me, the, my flyers, right. and they are putting my posters. Mm -hmm. It's not like that, they're, they're like, they have their own businesses, even they're losing their businesses, and they're losing their money just to just to distribute my flyers. Well, you know, this is like, this but is what you- You have a lot of support, people are supporting you. Yes, uh, most of my Bangladeshi, my Bangladeshi, especially in Indian, uh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, all of my Asian people, I get a good, good support. Excellent. And uh, you know, the, I was talking about my team, the team was like, they're like totally dedicated team and uh, you know, they, they're with me like till one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, just putting the posters and the f f distributed the flyers. And I believe this is the team mm -hmm. that I have that nobody else can have. And that makes me more ener energized, you know, because even though I win or mm -hmm. not, but I get the team and we're gonna still work with the team just the same way we are doing right now. Okay, perfect, excellent, that's great. And now, now where does, uh, w y you are confident, you said you 11 yep. uh, is your confident level. Now, what would you like to tell um, the community <coughs> members um, that, that did for you and what would you like to tell for the other community members about your integrity? <laughs> well, thank you. You know, for uh, the, my community member, like Park Extension is my community, first of all. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, I'm from Bangladesh, so I have my Bangladesh community here. So are Indians, also my community. Mm -hmm. uh, for Bangladeshi people, you know, I have great respect for them. Uh, this is the country I came from the same route. Of course. Like yeah. I'm, I'm yours. That this is the only only slogan should happen. I'm yours. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not from somewhere else. I'm the same country where you grew up when you mm -hmm. born. I'm the same country, the same place I, I born. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> I'm getting good responses from uh, all Bangladeshis and all Indians, all Pakistanis and uh, all Sri Lankans even. And uh, I was like door to door and uh, there was a lot of Bangladeshi people there, a lot of people uh, with, were from my country. And when they see that, uh, this, that you are Bangladeshi and you're doing the election, so uh, we are really happy. We are really happy and uh, I'm really happy about that. 
Okay, uh, so now, uh, now we're gonna take a call uh, from uh, one of uh, one of our Montrealer uh, Montrealers, and his name uh, is Mr. Mohammed Rani, and uh, he will be here with us. He's gonna give us a call, and we're gonna take his opinion about this election about uh, Mr. Yusuf. So we're trying to contact him. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Mr. Rani, can you hear me? Uh, I don't know if we are having some technical difficulties here. We're just having a little technical difficulty, so as soon as uh, he is available, he's gonna he's gonna give us uh, his opinion about um, Ronnie Bai. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I think uh, the call just dropped. So we're gonna go back to our questions um, to Yusuf Bai, <coughs> and then we'll try back later again uh, to talk to him. But I think, but before uh, we we start the question again, we have to take a short break. We'll be taking a break and um, we'll be back in a moment. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Nagarik TV's uh, weekly episode, My City, My Vote, with Mr. Yusuf, uh, Mr. Mohammed Yusuf, and he's right here with us. So we're going to start where we stopped. Uh, we're going to go back to him again. We were talking about, uh, yes, please go ahead. You were talking about, uh, just before going on break, we can continue <coughs> from there, like your integrity, you were saying about the community. So when you will be elected, suppose you, you get elected, so you will be the leader, and you will be the leader of the community, and the community is not only Bangladeshis, it's, you say, Pakistani, Indian, all the people, because it's multicultural, we know, park ex extension. And of course, you are from our route, from Bangladeshi route, of course, they're going to get priority, is it? Bangladeshi people are going to get, or community, Bangladeshi community is going get, to get priority from you over other communities? Uh, not actually. No? It's not okay. actually. Go ahead. And the first thing is, uh, let me tell, th this let me just inform you that, you know, I don't want to be a leader. I told you that I'm not a politician. You are going to be... Friend. I just want, no, not even friend. I just want to be a helping hand. I just want to be a helping hand. Like, see, like, doesn't matter from which community, mm -hmm. doesn't matter from which ethnicity, mm -hmm. yes. they, they, they call me and they ask me to help on my way if I can, whatever I can. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to think where is he from. I'm going to think this, these people is from Park Extension. That's my main thing. But I'm, uh, is, I, I will not think about it uh, as a politician. Because, uh, you know, for uh, like uh, f the people who, who are doing here politics and doing the elections, they are, uh, they are senior people. Senior means like they are very senior in politics. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of experience than me. That's right. Uh, for me, for me, they are like uh, like uh, mother, grandmother, grandfathers. But for me, I'm just a newborn baby in politics, if you can say, because I just right. started it. You just started. I just true. started it, and uh, the thing is, uh, it is easy for me to do, because I know the problems. What is the mm -hmm. problem? Yes. So I know uh, what is my problem, because this is the same problem I'm uh, I'm facing. I'm living. Yes. So it it is it was easy for me, and it is easy for me to find out the problem is. Okay, that's great. So I think now we can we can take the video <coughs> call. We're gonna take a video call, and uh, the call will be from a Montrealer, Montrealer, and his name is uh, uh, Mr. Rani, Mr. Muhammad Malik Rani, and I think he's right there. Hello, Rani, bhai, how are you doing? I'm fine. How about you? Good. Thank you. Thank you for uh, joining us. And uh, here we are today, we are, we are uh, here to listen something from you, your opinion about uh, Yusuf, uh, Mr. Yusuf. Or how you feel that a Bangladeshi is, um, is contesting there for the councillor election. Uh, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, it's a good thing. 
मंत्रीपेशन थे So viewers, welcome back. Uh, now we we just spoke to to Ronnie, and uh, he gave us uh, his opinion and best wishes. I think for for him. Uh, and now uh, we are going back to him again and again. Please don't forget to write your comments, or if you have any question, write on the comment box, or you can call our studio at one eight four four six two four six seven four five. If you have any question to ask our guest, please feel free. Now, um, okay. So, uh, is it, there are a lot of existing problems, and you have some priorities. You are going to fix them. Uh, but when we come uh, to the point of the of the people that uh, they are contesting against you, it's been a long time they are in politics, and they are they are doing good things also. Maybe not everything is perfect, perfect, but good things. So now, um, what? What would people um, like us or uh, uh, a community people will vote you over those people they're going to select you? Why? Can you give us some reason why they should select you? Uh, that's a good question. And uh, I have great respect for my contenders and, uh, and, uh, and they, have done, uh, they have done great jobs. And I really appreciate because I live in uh, Park X now is 16 years almost. Wow. And mm -hmm. uh, I was in the same house, same it's places. It's your home in Canada. Yeah, that's my home in Canada, Park X. Yes. And, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, it's not like that nobody done nothing. It was, Park X uh, was like, uh, done a lot of things, good things. And, uh, of course, uh, the truth, you have to accept the truth. And uh, I'm that person that who accept the truth. And if it's lie, I can say it's lie. That's mm -hmm. how it should be. So the thing is like uh, you're honest like I you're mean honest. well I'm trying to be honest here it's, it mm -hmm. should be everyone should be the on honest exactly. person and the thing is like uh, you know like uh, this is the time to for the new generations this is the time to uh, the youth should come forward now mm -hmm. and uh, this this should be enough reason to do the election or to just to change your things here because uh, you know the people f from uh, different communities like uh, you need uh, someone uh, who is for you, for your cause, and uh, you need like the youth person who can speak, who can stand uh, just just for your mm -hmm. reasons. And uh, I think this is this should be enough reason f to do the election and do. It's not like that that I have to move someone. We have to move someone and bring someone else. It's not like that. It's not like the competition or something. This is just to bring the new generation in front. Because for for us, if we don't bring out, if we, if we don't come right now, as our caller was saying, mm -hmm. that we have only one Bangladesh candidate right now from Park Extension, right. but we need more people. Not uh, we need more people because uh, other communities they have uh, they have candidates different different mm -hmm. places. Yes. But uh, as a Bangladeshis, uh, but we are really behind it. We are really behind on this kind of uh, mainstream. Mm -hmm. Connections. Right. So, uh, if we if we can involve more our people, maybe for not not as as our caller said, mm -hmm. maybe not in this election because it's already happened done. Right. So maybe next election we can have more more community people. We we will have more uh, so mainstream community people to work with us that's to right. work the mainstream Canadian politics. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the only thing uh, the Canadian will know Bangladesh. There is a country mm -hmm. the people resided in Canada and they do the mainstream politics as well. So you think uh, should the Bangladeshi, uh, should the young generation uh, from the Bangladesh community be getting into mainstream politics? Uh, and how do you think they should get into it? Uh, you know, if we come, if we, if we can come to the so politics. The young generation yeah, you're talking about? The young generations. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. just uh, to be exact, they born here. Uh, they know how to speak French. They went to mm -hmm. French school, as my daughter is, uh, is going to French right. school. That's right, my daughter so, too. <laughs> yeah, so they're eligible to do the mainstream jobs. Right. But still, if you see in Park Extension, 
uh, if you go in fire service, in police, uh, you, mm -hmm. you will not see that much uh, visible minorities there. Mm -hmm. uh, you will not see... Uh, and why is that? Uh, that's, I don't know. And that's the reason we want to change the things. Because we, we need to bring our youth people there. We need to bring all the people uh, you know, right. in community. That's right. that's it's, not from, it's, not, it's not even from, uh, I'm talking about the Asian community. I'm talking about uh, the Greek community. I'm talking about uh, the Spanish community. I'm talking so about sorry. the black community. Okay. It's not only from Asian okay. community who wants to come forward now. This is time to the Greek community also to come forward. To how take you want to encourage them, the young generation, how you want to encourage them. Maybe they're not interested in politics. Makes That's the thing we have to so make. We have to make them interested. We have to make them because, uh, you know, in uh, like, you know, if if in, if like we don't tell them, like my daughter, I have to I have to teach my daughter, because if you want to do something good for the community, you have to involve in politics. Otherwise, let's see if le like Some my volunteer community <coughs> jobs. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I just wanted to tell you something. Uh, in my in my uh, neighborhood. Uh, when the snow, when the snow, uh, the snow is like uh, the cleaning time, mm -hmm. so the people come and they put the signs. It was just from 7 to 19, you That's cannot right, park here. no parking. Okay, mm -hmm. the thing is, uh, during the time, they don't come in three days. The sign is there. Mm. They don't come in three days. So once I park my car, because I thought maybe they're not going to come anyway, because it's three days. That day they came. That day came after one hour, I was at home, and they took my car. So, oh, it's like a rat trap. That's, they're putting something, they're waiting somewhere. The car is there, just just to the car. And I saw a lot of people have accidents there just because of the snow, they're not cleaning. Mm -hmm. So if I call them, let's see, I'm just a uh, just regular guy. I'll call them, my friend, can you please come and clean my streets? Mm -hmm. So they're not going to listen to me anyway. Because, okay, if I'm some, someone from the administration, I tell them, my friend, please, these are my voters. Mm -hmm. They voted me. Mm -hmm. I have to take care of them. Mm -hmm. You come right now and you do the cleaning here because I have to give answers to them. So suppose I live in Park X and in front of my house, uh, snow removal is not done. I need to, uh, that to be done. So how am I going to contact you? How am I going to let you know? Because you are not everywhere. No, just so call me. I live in Wiseman and Liège. Just call me my name. I'm there. Really? Yeah, of course I am. And the <laughs> thing is, uh, for me... You are not going to change like other politicians? That's what I told you. I'm not a politician. Power, that's so why I stopped you in the, the beginning. Friend? I told my all answers in the beginning that I'm not a politician. That's you know? right. So yes, I answered everything. And the thing is, like, uh, uh, f if I get elected, I will not be the only uh, city councillor for Park mm -hmm. X. Each and every citizen mm -hmm. of Park X will be the city councillor. As you said, I cannot be everywhere. Exactly. Let's see, I'm here in uh, Beaumont now. Mm -hmm. I cannot be in Wiseman right now. That's but right. the, the person there, he is the city councillor also. Mm -hmm. So he will see the problems. He will let me know what's going on there. So I will, I can do the right away, you know. So and this is not that I have to wait for the letter. Somebody can send me the letter by post. That's not. He can send me like MMS or SS, uh, SMS, you know. So, so this you're going to accept on. it. You're not going to block people. It's going to be everywhere. as it is. I have to. Always. Okay, great. That's great. It's really because great to if, know I, that. if I if I don't clean it, yes, I'm going to fall in the snow anyway. That's right. It was really nice to talk to you. I wish you all the best. Thank you. And uh, on behalf of Nagrik TV. All our viewers, uh, I wish um, Mr. Yusuf all the best for this upcoming um, election. And please, <coughs> if you have something to say, our viewers, uh, tell them. What you do? What do you want to tell them? Uh, thank you, viewers, and uh, thanks a lot, uh, Nagorik TV, that they called me. And I just, uh, I just urge you to do something. Just, just practice your right, and uh, vote for the. You know. Uh, the, the person you're going to vote for is uh, yours to choose. And uh, you, ch you choose your candidate. But uh, I will request you, please come and vote. This is your right. Vote for anyone, but please vote. And this will be my request to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now uh, this special episode um, has to come to an end. So thank you so much, viewers, for your participation. And I hope to see you soon again um, and uh, when we do this program again. And um, I wish uh, Mr. Yusuf again all the best and um, all the best for the upcoming city council election. And thank you so much for joining us. It's, I really appreciate it. And, and Nagorik TV also thanks you for this. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. You're welcome you. and wish you all the best again. Thank you very much. Hope to see you, you soon. Thank you. God bless.